number 84, Sean Cason. Tallahassee Black Diamonds won the toss, deferred to the second half. The Indians choose to receive. Tallahassee will line up defending the West Coast. Complete this time with John Cooper as he gets to the line of 
Shelly Jamie in 34, first down and 10. for Clayton Thompson, incomplete. Joey catcher to hold. David Rhodes to attempt the field goal. The field goal is blocked. Black Diamond will 37. is a black diamond 32. Play in the 
gets up to about the Here's the Brian Sykes, the fullback, and he gets right at a yard on the play. This was timeout for measurement. First round, Black Diamond at their own 46-yard line. Go ahead, give him 10 and 10 for the Black Diamond. Then his pass is complete to Mike Edwards. Back in. Rod Buckle gets to Steve Boyer as he goes over the left side and he gets pushed out of bounds at about the 15 yard line. Rod Buckle, quarterback, gets to Steve Greer. to hold. The field goal goes wide to the right. Still remaining zero to the end of the zone. 20 yard line. At the midfield goal pitch. The next pass intended for McGee. The junior class is once again operating the concession stand. They have hot dogs, pizza by the slice, nachos, soft drinks. Indian ball, second down and 10. Will McGee goes right up the middle and he makes Pass intended for Clayton Thompson is Bill McGee fights his way right up the middle. Mike Edwards and Joe Ed Denny, the deep back for the Black Diamonds. Punt <laughs> wrote down in Tennessee the Indian 46.
Mike Edwards is on the... by Jason Camp, number 44 for the Indians. for the Indians. Midfield track. Penalty marker on the field. Then he hit at the line of scrimmage, but he fights his way up for a back. First down and 10, line of scrimmage, the Indian 39. Wisely, the ball carrier. Joe <laughs> Denny's pass is complete to Steve Greer. Robert White makes. Denny on the quarterback option keeps a lot around. 
personal foul holy against the Black Diamond. First down and 15 to go. Line of scrimmage, the Indian 35. Joe Ed Denny goes back to pass, decides to keep it, gets back to the line of scrimmage. Back to pass again, scrambles out, gets back. Personal foul, illegal use of the hands. In the half. Pass is complete for Steve Green. Intended for Jason Wesley, from Indian 45. Steve Cochran fair catches the ball at about the 10 yard kicker as a penalty against Stillwell. Gives the Indian, uh, the Black Diamonds rather, first down and 10 at the Indian 30 yard line. is complete before Stofford. One minute, ten seconds remaining in the half. Then he pitches to Greer, number 20 Four seconds. Then he gives for Greer as he fights his way inside the 20-yard line. 48 seconds to go. First down and 10 for the Black Diamond. The line of scrimmage, the Indian 18. Then his pass is incomplete as he's brought down in the backfield by Jason Katz and Bill McGee. Forces the incomplete pass. Second down, 10 yards to go. Give it to Greer. He's Greer to go over the right side. Third down and an inch to go for the first down. And his pass is intended for Mike Edwards, falls incomplete, brings up fourth down and walks. Nicky Scoggins to attempt the field goal. Joe Ed Denny to hold. Scoggins, 25 yard field goal is off to the right. The Indians hold fourth down and remaining in the half. Nat to drop to one knee. Score, Stillwell zero, Salasol zero.
If you'll take your ticket, go Ten 
gets it there. Fumbles the ball, falls on his own fumble. Second down and 20 for the first down for the Indians. Bill McGee is met just as he comes across the line. Jason Kent keeps his finger on the left side. There's a penalty marker after the tackle. First of foul, 15 yards. Intercepted by Joanne Kitty. And he's tackled at about the 30th. Being <laughs> clear, the ball clear, Bill Jones. the fumble at the line. Then he is caught in the backfield by Bob Garrett. Down out, still well. Second down and eight for the Black Diamond. Line of Cindy, Gene in 34. Get us to Greer. Bill's up. Greer and he's met as he gets to the line of scrimmage. This is the Greer and he's taken down by Jason Kent. A one on one. Mr. Greer as he comes over to right tackle this time. Greer is met by David Rose, who stopped for about a two. Greer over the left side this time. At the end of the third quarter. Fourth. In the fourth quarter. Third down and six to go for the first down at about the eight yard line in Indian territory. Give us the clear. He's down near the goal line, but there's no signal. First and goal for the Black Diamonds at, their, at the Indian Watch. Joe Anthony goes in for a quarterback sneak, and it puts six points on the board for the Salazar Black Diamonds. for the Vincent Black Diamond. Mickey Stockins to attempt the extra point.
Joe Anthony comes up with the football, throws in the end zone, and there's a two-point conversion. He throws the kickoff, and he's brought down at about the 21 yard line. is complete the Clayton yard line. Brings up second down and 20 to go for the first down for the Indians. And that pass is complete to Cap. And he drops as he gets it. Intercepted by Joe Ed Finney. He finally dropped. This is where the play dead. Flags on the play. The line of scrimmage will be the 10 yard line. First and goal. Thank you to Greer. There's a flag on the near side of the field. Greer goes around the right end and in for the score. There's a penalty marker laying at the 11-yard line. Dallas Hall's ball. First down and goal to goal from the Indian 15. Joe Ed Denny on a quarterback keeper. Take it down and goal to goal from the 12. Quarterback Denny on the option around the right side. Third and goal. Insecure as he goes right up the middle, kicks down Salazar. Nothing over the Chihuahua Indians. Nicky Scoggins to attempt the extra point, Joey and Benny to hold. And it's good. Score 15 for the Black Diamond, 0 for the Indians. Keith Thompson and Cap to the deep men for the Indians. Scoggins to pick. Fielded by Thompson at about the five yard line. And he fights his way out to about the 18 yard line. Do the ball carrier, tackle many. Bill McGee up the middle of the line. Third down and nine for the Indians. Line of scrimmage is the Indian 20. And that option to the outside keeps on the option, fumbles, but the Indians recover their fumble. They pick up enough yardage for the first down. Goodwin quarterback in pitches to the 
about six or seven on the play. Brings up second down and 16. Intercepted by Scott Turner. Scott Turner, number eight. Joe Benny is back to pass and he dropped in the backfield for a loss by Bill Jones for the Indians. Led by Robert White, drops for a loss. Loss of a couple. Third down for the Black Diamonds, line of scrimmage, being in 41. Then his pass was caught, but it's caught out of bounds. Reception was made by Mike. Steve Calkin is the deep back for the Indians. Joe Ed Denny to punt. Finley markers, whistles, no play. Seager. Fourth down and about 23 yards to go for the first down. Line of scrimmage, Denny in 46. Denny in punt formation. Officials timeout for equipment repair. Thank you. 